What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to Duke Back Your Builds. Hope everyone is doing fine. So on today's video, I got a little minor issue. Um, I got one of my wheels that keep wobbling on the passenger rear. Um, I'm gonna get that checked out. More than likely, it's the axle that's bent because the wheels are basically brand new. So um, yeah, guys, we're gonna check that out. Try to figure out what's the issue, what's causing the wheel to wobble, and get that fixed. So um, yeah. Stay tuned. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to Tutti's Backyard Builds. So, um, got a little minor issue with my SS. So, on the passenger rear, I got this wheel here wobbling. So when I'm driving, this wheel here is wobbling. I know for sure it ain't the wheels because the wheels are brand new. So, um, I mean, I'm going to lift up the back and I'm going to spin it for you guys to see what I'm talking about. I'm going to lift up the car now. I'm going to spin the wheel, let you guys see what I'm talking about, how the wheel wobbles. Um, then I'll, I'll be taking off the wheel and um, spin it, spin the axle. And if it still wobbles, then we know for sure that's the problem. All right, we got the car lifted. I put the jack stands as well. I'm gonna spin the wheel now and show you guys what I'm talking about. I took off the wheel. I'm gonna take off the drum and spin the, the axle. We're gonna determine if the axle is bent or not. You guys see how it comes in and then it separates. So definitely the axle is bad. Right, we're gonna open up the rear end and remove the axle. All right, guys, so we're gonna have to remove this pin here that you see here. In order to remove that pin, we're gonna have to loosen up this bolt here that's holding on to this pin in order to remove the pin. So we're gonna remove the bolt now. All right, now that the bolt is out, this pin gotta come out through here. So. Okay, so we removed the pin. 
once you remove the pin we're gonna push the axle in in order to remove the c-clip so we're gonna push the axle in see once it's in you see that c-clip there we got to remove that c-clip in order to uh, remove the axle out because that c-clip is what is what holds the axle from not coming out so once you remove the c-clip the axle could come out clip so, so this is what this is the C clip that holds the axle once you remove this you can actually remove the axle see how it comes out comes in comes out yep now that the C clip is removed I could easily remove the axle now So we slide in the new replacement axle in. We're gonna put the C-clip in and uh, put the middle pin with the bolt and we good. You see guys, this is the replacement axle, no issue. It was definitely the axle the problem. As you see, she is straight as an arrow. We fixed the problem guys. All right YouTube, so I put the wheel back on. The issue is fixed. Um, hopefully this video was helpful for those that are trying to do this at home again guys I'm still learning um, so for those that um, are experts and um, probably seen something I did wrong please comment below let me know um, I'm still learning and um, I appreciate all you guys appreciate all the love and support and um, yeah guys so till next time